This is the image I'm going to create using Affinity Photo. Right now, this is the image I'm going to use, an open book. I'm going to place an image on each of the pages and shape it to the shape of the underlying page. We go to File, Open, pick the picture, Open, do an Edit, Copy, go to the Start Image and do an Edit, Paste. Drag it to roughly where it needs to go and then go to the left hand toolbar and right at the bottom there's Mesh Warp Tool. Click on that and then we'll drag the corners of the photograph onto the page. Now we'll, we'll shape the top and using these handles here also here obviously you can take your own time you take your time doing this yourselves and we'll do, do the edges as well got the edges. something like right, that's that one go back file open pick the one up for the right hand page edit copy Back to the main picture, edit, paste, in the size down a bit, put it roughly where we want the image to go, and again we'll go to the mesh warp tool, and drag the corners, place the image exactly where we want them. Like I say, I'm just going pretty quickly with this, so the, the video is not too long. Obviously, you can take your time. Use the other handles to, to shape. Do the edges. Do the left hand edge. That's all right. Right now we'll bring in the uh, the girl, the cutout picture of the girl. Do an edit, copy, go back to the main picture, and do an edit. Paste. There she is. We'll just uh, size her down a little bit, put her on to where we want it to go. Somewhere about there will do, I think. I'm going to leave the bot the re the red crayon just overlapping the page just a little bit. Right, she's in place now. Now you will notice that the pencils overlap the edge of the page. So to get rid of that I'm going to go to the pen tool and on the on the, the girl there I'm going to click just above the picture of the, that's underlying it and then again down here just below the pen and then do, go round 
and then go up to the top and, and do selection we get the crawling hands and then I'll do delete and that will get rid of that select deselect and we'll do the same on the left hand side get the pen tool again and just do a quick come out up to there selection and delete on the keyboard and there we are and select deselect now that's most of the stuff done so what I will do now is do a save as doing a save as will keep all the layers and all the alterations I've made so if I need to come back to the to the work on the image again I can do so the, and they saved as a dot AF photo template so click save right now if I want to say alter one of the uh, image one of the layers change the color or do the uh, contrast brightness what it can do is go to here and go to brightness and contrast that will put up another layer but if you notice it put it above the girl layer so if I do any alterations now to the brightness and the contrast it will affect the whole of the image so what I will do I'll click on the brightness and contrast layer drag it onto the girl layer slightly to the right of the thumbnail and drop it now if you want that up you notice that that's become a child layer of the layer with the girl on now I can do the alterations I need and do an OK and that's closed now if I want to do um, sharpening I go to life filter now I can use either high pass or unsharp mask so I'll click unsharp mask again it's dropped that into the child layer so I'll take the unsharp mask layer and drag it right to the top of this, the stack now I can do the alteration I don't do any more than about just under one pixel for the radius and turn the factor up about there that's okay now I can do another save as and rename it something else so I've got two copies now and if I want to come back to any of them I can I can do that right as far as that goes now I can save it I can export it oh sorry wait a minute uh, I'll go to document and flatten it first and you notice all the layers disappear and we left with just one basic layer and go to file export choose which format you want I'm using JPEG export what I usually do I, I name it with the date the time uh, currently working on save and there it is as part of my workflow what I also like to do I like to put a border on I've got a, uh, a macro for that get 25 pixels and 
and then go to the paintbrush tool and I'll put on my uh, copyright information make it white you can use the close bracket, the bracket keys to make it bigger and then save that as a different file right that's just about it I hope for you uh, it's been informative it's an ideal exercise while we're in lockdown or on these dark nights when uh, there's nothing else to do anyway thank you for watching